These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your PS3 that's currently running 4.83 Ferox, and we're gonna downgrade to 4.82.2 Rebug Kex, or if you want to, you can convert it to Dex. So what I've done here is I'm basically checking my QA flag is toggled. If it's not working for you, then what you want to do is go to the video description. I got a link to Habib QA Toggle 4.21. Install it, and then if you don't have it uh, enabled, run it. It'll restart your PS3, and you know if it's working, if you go back to your network settings, and then if you press R1, R2, L1, L2, L3, and D-pad down all at the same time, you should get the Eddie Viewer debug settings and install package files. If your QA flag is not toggled, then you can't install your custom firmware. So next, what you want to do is get the latest, you know, rebug firmware, rename it as ps 3 updatepup put it on your USB thumb drive under the PS3 slash update folder, and then go ahead, plug into the rightmost USB port on your PS3 and proceed to follow and install. So that's how that works. Um, later in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to spoof your system to 4.83 if you want to play online. And then if you are a DEX user and you want to use mod menus, then I'll give you a real quick refresher course on how to convert your PS3 from a KEX rebug to a DEX rebug. It's pretty simple. And then if you want to get more package files, by all means, go to store.browgy.com and you can download those package files and then you can install them through the package manager through the main X and B screen on the PS3. So for sake of time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up through a good portion of this video installation process. And then once it is finished, we'll continue with the commentary on how to finish up your PS3 downgrade. It should be a lot of good times. Let's do this. All right, so we're back at the PS3. So let's go ahead and check our system settings and let's see what it says. It should say 4.82 since the firmware installation was successful. And let's go to system settings and it says 4.82, great. So if you wanna play online, what you wanna do is make sure you install the latest version of Send Enabler. I already have it installed. So let's go ahead and run it. And what we're gonna do next is basically do something called Enable Send Access which basically spoofs your system of 4.83. So right hand side, send PSN options, go through that process there and you're good to go. Um, I do have a dedicated tutorial focusing on the subject in more detail. So if you wanna check it out, go to the PS3 playlist and you'll find that video there as well. After you have finished this uh, progress bar progress, it's gonna ask you to reboot your PS3. So go ahead and say yes. And then once that is completed, you can go back to system settings and you'll see that your system version is spoofed to 4.83. So we'll be there uh, momentarily. Okay, so let's reboot the system. Right, so let's go to system settings and scroll down and see system information 4.83 great all right so next thing we're going to do is if you are a dex user or you want to be dex let's go ahead and install the rebug toolbox first under system storage so that will help us out with that process and i'll give you a real quick refresher on how to convert your system to dex if that's something you want to do so basically once you're in the rebug toolbox you want to scroll over all the way to the right and then scroll all the way down and there's a section in there called dump EID root key. So let's go ahead and check it out. So dump EID root key. I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but go ahead, click on it, dump it. It's gonna restart your PS3, then go back to rebug toolbox, go back to here, go to rewrite target ID in flash, and then go to swap level two kernel. And after that, it's gonna ask you to restart your PS3 Say yes, and now you're a fully DEX system. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go back to the X and B screen to help save some time. But that's the process if you wanna do that DEX conversion. So that's today's PS3 modding downgrade tutorial. If you guys have any 
nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.